Okay. <laughs> You're welcome to this session. My name is Sebu Yungo Uyuba Tibeka Yunga. I'm the director of Action Entrepreneurs. We do business planning, we do business management, business marketing, we also do business consultancy and communications. So you are welcome. The additional services we are doing that are finance management services. Now, we are today going to look at what we call business marketing, uh, specifically looking at the aspect called spying and tourism. There are two now aspects here that we call business spying and tourism. These aspects are usually uh, not so much addressed when it comes to business marketing. However, you cannot do business without spying. Okay? Now, we do spying in two ways. One, you can do spying before setting up business. Before setting up business. So, you have laid up um, a plan, a business plan, and you also want to see uh, the prospective market and uh, where is this market and who has this market and why does this person or this organization has such a market so that draws us into running into the market to spy and identify where this market is and who is holding this market and why is the person or the organization holding such a market so it draws us into what we call setting a spy network spy network usually we send agents or we stand up ourselves and go um, to, to look at other people's businesses to see what those people do, how they do, and why they do like that. So if you, we structure some questions to, to ask some of those people or those organizations to see why they are doing as they are doing and why and how they are doing so that we learn some of the skills that these people are employing not to copy specifically in the, 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 the intent is not to copy the intent is to learn from other people we cannot um, we cannot afford to run business blindly we cannot afford to run business without insight without insight in business we need to have insight foresight and oversight so it draws us into going to the market to see what other people are actually doing so you either send a spy with with some questions which may not be necessarily written down uh, or surveys which are not necessarily written down but to go and actually observe how others are doing and test those other people's services and products to see how yours is going to to be experienced and this is very central you cannot run business in blindness you cannot run run business with narrow sight or what other people call uh, um, uh, being uh, short sighted uh, in the in in the scientific language it is called myopia that is a a, a deficiency called myopia so in business, we have to be with insight, oversight, and foresight. And how do we look at this? Or how do we reach at this? We reach at this by going out in the field and then uh, looking at what other people are doing. And then in terms of prices, we can also look at their prices. We can also look at their sizes. We can even buy some of those items that they have and then keep um, examining them to see how they relate with ours and our distinction we should not while doing bias we sh while, while, while having bias you cannot afford um, uh, managing spying because uh, a spy um, agents and spying agents do not go with bias you don't need to be biased you know some people are always very defensive when it comes to their product and services they say mine is the best no one is better than me and now that is already bias leave your product or your services 
go and examine other people's services and uh, products which um, which may be similar or common with yours do not be biased during this exercise go and examine what other people have sometimes we need to even appreciate what other people have developed so that we learn from them where we do not appreciate that is an opportunity we need to strengthen our services so that they when they are, are, are set out there and they have gone into the market they overcome competition because here we are looking at what are other people doing so that we do better than them or we set a product that can compete what is already known because you cannot compete what you do not know so we know what is in the competition what is in market in the marketplace and afterwards we strategize on how to go about it the other aspect is the aspect aspect called tourism tourism with the tourism you do not actually do research or um, the aspect of tourism is a philosophy actually tourism is a philosophy which is driven on the concept of go out and see whatever is out there whatever is beneficial learn from from, from it so methods systems and uh, nature of products and human resource skills and how people actually think and how people actually relate with one another and which kind of tools and equipment are, uh, and equipment are being applied in business in dealing with business and uh, what kind of 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 software are they using what kind of fashions and styles have they come up with we go in out there to do tourism we are always um limited in looking at tourism we see tourism as one coming from another country and going into another uh with the the intention of seeing animals and seeing uh, um, uh, uh, forests and natural resources. However, tourism is, is a business concept. What many people do not mention is that tourism is actually uh, related to spying and tourism is actually related to a survey, identifying what is in the communities and what are people doing in the communities and what are their needs anyway when we look at these communities what are their needs that brings into the philosophy of tourism you know when you hear the word or what most words ending with zim zim tourism socialism those are philosophies which look at how um can we go about this they, uh, they keep questioning what are other people actually doing what are other things actually looking like so you go generally and afterwards you narrow to specifics you go general then specific you look at certain things around the world certain things in the different communities you go to kenya go to another district go to another village go to a, um, another home try to look at what is actually out there and what is done out there with an intention of discovering the best approaches to use because sometimes we remain stagnant not because we 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 we, we are doing well but because we are so settled to the extent that what is happening around us is unknown and we cannot have we cannot afford to deal with the community with the community now of course community is where our customer is coming from we cannot avoid the community and we cannot avoid tourism and uh, avoid looking at what other people are actually doing out there so that we make informed decisions decisions based on facts of occurrences and phenomena that it actually this is what is happening in the community so as i engage the community i am aware and the, i also have community perspectives i have community culture i have community preferences i have community desires i have fashion variations in various communities i have uh, 
um, model differences in various communities all those are alive with that by doing two things one spy two tour go and make a tour go and check out that is the basic of getting marketing information to inform production to inform trade to inform pricing to inform finance management systems to inform regulations which are actually surrounding our businesses we need to actually go out there and do some findings and do tourism and also do uh, spy networking thank you my name is Seb Yungo Wilba Chiveka Yunga um, I'm the director of Action Entrepreneurs I'm also um, a lecturer at Nkumba University I also lecture at the No Regrets Institute and the Hope Education Network I really thank you for being with me. Thank you. We shall link up next time. Bye-bye.